Well, you can see the lightning behind me a little bit here, but inclement weather did not stop members of local law enforcement agencies from honoring officers who gave their lives to protect and serve southern Minnesota. KIMT News 3's photojournalist Brandon Boxstaller takes us to a Rochester Memorial event. Tonight was our Southeast Minnesota Law Enforcement Memorial. We had 41 fallen heroes that we were honoring tonight. Um, the, the list goes way back to 1874, and um, we had a, a, a great number of survivor families and people here celebrating the service and sacrifice of these heroes. Ready for work early and come stop by wherever we were so he could spend a few minutes on his way to work or as he got off. These officers gave their life, and some of them gave their lives for people they didn't even know. They, they all believed in service before self. They all believed in going out, taking that risk. They knew the risks they were taking. The families knew the risks they were taking. Um, and, and, and we lost them. So what's important now is we support these survivor families, support their families, support the, the, the grandkids, support the different generations, and make sure that the, the story of these fallen heroes is never forgotten. Each row signifies a fallen officer. So there are, there's a, a, a rose for each fallen officer that's on that wall. So we recognize those names, we read the names, honor those fallen officers, and then we place the rose in their remembrance. John Joseph Schneider. A full house here of survivor families and officers and agencies here to support and, and honor these fallen, support these families, uh, and in spite of the rain, it was a great night. Wow, good to see all those people made it out tonight. Not only were there members of local agencies of Southern Minnesota, but several officers who had family in the area. They were also recognized and honored at the memorial.